Mark Stein of the Stein Line has reported that my Argentine brother, Facundo Campazzo, está en Dallas. He, I don't know why I was going to continue in Spanish, but you guys know if you've been watching my channel, mi primo Facundo. I actually have a cousin named Facundo as well in Argentina. He's actually deaf. Well, he's not fully deaf. He has like the ear thing where like it goes in your brain. I don't know what it's called. It's a, it's a cool guy, cool guy. But Facundo Campazzo has arrived in Dallas League sources says, and all he has to do is complete his physical, and he's then signing a one-year deal with the Mavericks either Monday or Tuesday. The Argentine point guard will fill the Mavericks' 15th roster spot. And let's talk about why this is a good fit. So right now, also McKinley Wright, the fourth, got himself a two-way. Okay, so shout out to him. Okay, and. We know that the current rotation is probably going to be, you know, I'm I'm assuming the. What do you guys want to? What is your starting lineup? I saw the lineup that they were running at times was, I believe, it was during the playoffs. What Spencer Dinwiddie, Luka Doncic, Reggie Bullock, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Jabail McGee, with Tim Hardaway and Christian Wood being like co six mans off the bench, is what I recall saying. And now I don't want to be mistook but i'm just gonna pull up the mavericks preseason stats because you know nobody wants to sit here and look like a fool but i want to hear your idea because i think facundo Campazzo will replace frank nilkina's role in the like rotation i'd just rather have facundo Campazzo and Campazzo, if you guys don't know he's actually a decent league average three-point shooter at the very least he's gonna come out you're gonna be like he shoots under percent under 40 percent from the field well the reason why he does that is he mainly just takes three-point shots and his other shots yeah he'll hit the occasional layup and stuff but that's all he does is shoot three-pointers really and it's at a low rate because he's primarily a pass first defensive first and guess why they bring him guess who Facundo Capazzo's former teammate is oh Luka Doncic guess where they played together Real Madrid guess who was is one one of the greatest Real Madrid point guards of all time hmm Facundo Campazzo. and who was there when Luka won you know was winning you know won MVP hmm Fu, you know Facundo Campazzo. hmm 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 something people don't realize okay and he's a guy who comes out he's a pretty dude he's so pesky if you think pat bev's annoying on defense facundo compas is so much more annoying yes he's only five foot eight and that's why he primarily just takes three-point shots but he's a guy that look he's been able to hit three-point shots at a decent rate and he's a guy who's really good at getting steals i mean his last year in you know spain he was averaging two and a half steals a night almost three he's a guy who's almost averaged three steals a night in you know in when he's playing in argentina and he's a guy, I know it's lower level of basketball, but he's a guy who's going to come out, okay? And even last year where he's playing 18 minutes a night, he's going to come out, shoot a few threes, give you like four or five assists, grab two rebounds, even though he's short, get you a steal at least, okay? Not turn the ball over. He doesn't really turn the ball over and just play very quick, efficient basketball. And throughout the preseason, what we saw was the guys who played the most minutes were Luka Doncic, Christian Wood, Spencer Dinwey, Tim Hardaway Jr., Reggie Bullock, Dorian Finney-Smith, Josh Green, Jaden Hardy, Maxi Kleba, and I think right there, that's your nine-man rotation, and you throw in probably, you know, Facundo Compazzo taking some minutes away from Hardy and Green, and Facundo's probably going to be playing 18 minutes a night, okay, and... I'm so you know, JaVale's probably going to be in there too. So, because I didn't mention him because he didn't play much. But JaVale, he's going to be playing. He's probably going to start and then come off. And Christian Wood's going to probably play like. And I, I think like right there, the starting lineup should be Luca, Spencer, Reggie Bullock, Dorian Finney Smith, and JaVale. Then you have Christian Wood and Tim Hardaway being like co six mans together, both playing like 25 minutes off the bench. Okay. And that's right there, your, your seven guys. Then you have as your eighth guy, probably Facundo Capazzo, jo yeah, Max Kleba, Josh Green. And I, I wonder, you know, Davis Bertans, how he fits in there too. So I think it's definitely going to be interesting as hell how they figure out this whole entire roster. But all in all, I think it's a it's a good fit. It's, it's looking good. It's going to be fun at the very least, okay? And 
I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Am I just looking at something like am I just not looking at this right? Am I am I being stupid? But I think it's it's definitely something to look at because for me, I think when I look at this team, okay, they have all the makings to to stay good. And I think it's fun. And for me, I just want to continue to see the this team be great and maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong and maybe i'm just over here hoping for the best and that's just not what i'm supposed to do but that's that's it i'm a i'm a peace out a town on y'all hope you guys did enjoy but yeah that's gonna be it for me guys like comment and subscribe do all that good jazz we're gonna kick it and yeah i think I don't think there's anything else i really want to talk about so because like i feel like we're, we're we're good okay and i also feel like there there wouldn't be anything else worth investigating and i think you guys heard it also peace out a town i love you guys uh i have a nba show or well we have an nba show jackson i'll show we just hit a thousand on there we, we put it on, you know, streaming services too. So if you want to listen to it after we go live, because we're live Monday through Friday, 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern time. Also, I think I'm moving to Florida. So like in in June or whatever. So that will be cool. But I love y'all. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment. If I missed anything that you would have wanted to hear, just let me know. And yeah, so bye.